Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to do my 2023 wish list recap. If you guys missed my 2023 wish list or you want to just a little refresher course, I'll link it right up here for you. But I'm just going to go through and let you guys know which items I did get, which items are still on the wish list, which items fell off the wish list. And just a recap, we're going we're gonna to go over it. We're going to recap. Now, if this is not your first video, you guys know that 2023 was a low buy year for me. And I'm saying it with quotes because like it really wasn't a low buy. Like I didn't really buy for the first half of the year, but the second half definitely made up for the first half. But if you guys wanna know which items I ticked off my 2023 wish list, then please just keep on watching. But wait, you already know what I'm gonna say. If you're not already subscribed, it's for myself. I post on Wednesdays and on Sundays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I feel like you're gonna wanna be here when I do. If you like luxury, you like handbags, you like fashion, you like wish lists. You like low buys? I feel like this is definitely where you're going to want to be. So just subscribe if you're not already. And you just follow me over on Instagram if you're not already. It's just the Kate Danger. I post every single day over there. Every day there's a reel. Outfit of the day. Something on stories. It's a lot of stuff. We post a lot over there. So just follow me over there if you're not already. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So I went through my 2023 wish list this morning. I just rewatched the video and made notes of everything that I got. Everything that I said that I wanted. And what is still on the wish list. Jumping into the first thing that I mentioned on my wish list, it was a bright pink bag. Now, I was not specific as to which bag I wanted, although I did mention that at some point I wanted a cocoa handle. Not specifically in any color, I just really wanted a cocoa handle. But I also wanted a bright pink bag, and I mentioned that it was either going to be from Chanel or Hermes, most likely Chanel, because I'm not Delulu. And I ended up ticking that off. You guys know I got, I, I can't even do this. There's too many bags in the way. Hold on. Please hold. We're just going to leave that like that, because clearly I have another bag I'm going to have to show you in two seconds. But this is my bright pink cocoa handle. I will link the unboxing. There's just dust everywhere. I will link the unboxing for this bag right up here, but I did end up taking this off and I could not be happier with this bag. I actually had been looking at this color pink ever since it came out in this collection and I also thought that I was going to get this color pink in a D-Joy, but I ended up going for the cocoa handle and that really ticks two things off the wish list. So I'm really, really happy with this. I have absolutely no regrets going for this rather than the D-Joy, although I will say I still kind of want the D-Joy, but the wish list is coming. Really, this was just a perfect bag to add to my collection to fulfill both the cocoa handle and the bright pink bag. So like, I love her. I do love her. You guys know I love her. Since we're talking about cocoa handles, the second thing on my wish list was a pale yellow bag from Chanel. And you guys know that was actually my first unboxing of the year. I will link it right up here. And it was this gorgeous cocoa handle also in the size small so this was just the yellow bag of my dreams i will mention by the way i got the bright pink bag from the real real i got this one from julia rose boston which is one of my absolute favorite places to shop for pre-love bags i will link a video i did all about where to shop pre-love right up here but I, I love Julia Rose Boston. So this was just a no-brainer for me. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, yeah, that takes all the boxes. I actually got this yellow one before I got the pink one, but I'm going in order of how I mentioned it on my wish list, and I mentioned the pink bag first. So that's why we're doing it like that. But like I said, this was the first unboxing of the new year, although I did actually get it in December of 2022. So again, no regrets. I've been wearing this a lot and I feel like yellow is kind of a harder color to match with, but since it's this like gorgeous pale yellow, it works perfectly for so many things and I just love it. I, I just love it. The next thing I mentioned on the wish list was another black bag. Now this, I did not tick off the wish list. I did not get another black bag. I was kind of leaning towards something in the so black variation but i didn't end up getting anything and honestly this is still on the wish list i do think i still want a black bag a smaller black bag because you guys know i have my classic flap in size medium but sometimes that bag is just a little bit big so i think i'm gonna get something smaller and i don't think i mean i'm not sure but i don't know if i want to get it in so black because i really hear a lot of horror stories about so black hardware chipping i'm not really sure yet but and again i don't know like what bag i would want in this style or in this color. I was thinking maybe a reissue, like a mini reissue in So Black, that would be cute. But then I just, I don't know, I don't know. So this is still on the wish list. Black bag may be coming eventually. <laughs> the next thing on my wish list was a Birkin Kelly and a Constance. Now here's what's up, <laughs> okay? Here is what's up. I was like really dead set in the beginning of the year when I made this wish list that I was gonna get at least one of these this year. And I have had opportunities like to get them on the resale market. I, the Hermes journey and me, we're not homies, okay? I don't have an Hermes close enough to me for me to have a journey. Like the closest one is literally in the city or in New Jersey. And that's just not 
that's just not going to happen. So it would have to be in the retail market. And yes, I've had opportunities to get pretty much all of these and I decided not to get any of them. And the reason is I don't really think that I want them bad enough to spend the amount of money that they cost on them. So I think I'm just going to keep living my Chanel era life. These are all off the wish list at the moment. Constance was, was like, well, already off the wish list. I'll link the video where I spoke about that right up here, but that was already off the wish list. A Birkin, nah, it's okay. The Kelly is really the one that was like, that had my heart and I still, I still love a Kelly. But do I love a Kelly enough to spend, you know, $16,000, $17,000 on it? I don't think I do. I'm not really focused on Hermes this year in 2024. Like that's not going to be my focus. So all of these bags are off the wish list. The next item that was on the wish list is a Van Cleef bracelet in a mother of pearl. And you guys know, I did take this off the wish list. I'll link the video right up here, but this is my bracelet. I'm not wearing it because I'm lazy and you can't even see my hands anyway. So here it is. So this is the mother of pearl bracelet that I got. I am obsessed with it. I am obsessed with it. I like this a lot more than I like the black onyx. I feel like a lot of people really tend to go for the black onyx and I do like the black onyx, but the mother of pearl is just beyond. It is beyond. It's like, so look how bright it is. It's so bright and girly and cute and it's really reflective and I just love it. So I'm so happy that I was able to take this off. I actually thought I was going to end up getting this earlier than I did. I thought this was going to be like a March type purchase. This is, I think I just got this in like October, but either way she's here and I am so freaking happy that I have it finally. I, I just, it's amazing. So the next thing on my wish list was another fine jewelry piece and it was the Cartier Justin Clue bracelet, which you guys know I did end up taking off. This is the Justin Clue in rose gold size 15 with no diamonds in the thin version. And I'll link the unboxing for this right up here as well. But I got this right before Cartier had a price increase because I, you know, I was scared. And so I bought it. <laughs> But I just, I needed this and I'm so happy that I have it and I just have no complaints. I wear this every single day. This one does not come off my wrist unless I'm going to like wear gloves. If I'm going to wear gloves, I'll take it off because obviously that just don't even make any sense. Why is it there? But other than that, I wear it every single day. It's just so comfortable and I will say it used to get stuck in everything for me, but I've switched hands. I used to wear it on my right hand, which is my dominant hand. Now I switched it to my left hand and I also put it upside down per your guys' recommendation. And honestly, I have not had an issue with it since then. So I'm very happy with this. It just is so comfortable and does not bother me at all. Really at all. The next item on the wish list was the Cartier Panther watch. I did not take this off the wish list, and I think you guys know that. And I'm actually gonna take it off the wish list altogether. I recently tried on a Rolex, and you guys, it's just too good. I'm gonna link the vlog up here. It's too good, and I put my name down for it, and I'm just gonna wait for that. And that's my decision. The price difference is massive, massive, but worth it in my opinion. <laughs> I just think since I'm not really into watches, I should just get the one watch. That would just be my one watch. And that's how I would go about my life. I don't even know if I get called, if I will actually end up pulling the trigger on it because it's, it's so expensive. But I just don't think that the Cartier Panther watch is going to like do it for me for like an everyday watch. I don't know if it's because I wanted the one that was in stainless steel. And obviously they do have the option to get the one that is like two-tone, but I don't like the way that the two-tone one looks as much. So I'm really just not sure. I think I'm just gonna take this off the wish list for now. I'm not really looking into it at all. I think at the beginning of the year, I really was kind of looking into it, but now I just feel like I have so many other priorities and I just don't really care about the Panther watch anymore. I think it's cute. I think if you have it, like keep wearing it, especially now white gold is like, it, it's having such a big moment. So definitely if you have the stainless steel version, keep wearing that shit. But I just don't think that I'm going to buy it right now, at least. The next item is a Chanel Coco Crush ring in the mini size. This is off my wish list. I wanted a ring really bad for this finger. I still really do want a ring for this finger. And I actually discovered that these two fingers are the exact same size. So I guess that that works out in my favor, right? I can just switch them if I want to. But I just don't think that it's going to be the Coco Crush ring. I think I am back onto the Clash ring by Cartier. I tried that one on in the vlog that I tried on the Rolex and I just thought that it was amazing and I thought that I needed it and I still think that and so I need it now. <laughs> no other ring is going to be living on this finger except the Cartier Clash ring. That is the one that is replacing the mini Coco Crush. I just felt like I wanted something dainty and plus you guys know obviously I love Chanel so I thought 
that would have just been like the best of both worlds. But honestly, it's the clash ring or it's nothing. <laughs> the next piece that was on my wish list and has now fallen off my wish list was the Van Cleef Vintage Alhambra necklace with the diamonds. I feel like there's so many words to say there. Like I scramble them up constantly. I still love that necklace. And I'm telling you, the day that I hit the lotto, that necklace is joining my neck, okay? But I hit the lotto and so it's not happening. <laughs> I actually ended up going for the Mother of Pearl, which you guys know, I'll link that unboxing up here. If there's no space, it's gonna be in the description box. But I definitely don't regret this. This, just like the bracelet, pops so much and I adore it. And I really just have no regrets. The price difference between this one and the one with diamonds is like a zillion dollars. And I will say I have kind of felt annoyed by the fact that I can't shower with this. Like there have been times when I'll get in the shower and luckily the first thing I clean is right here. This is the first thing I always clean. So I'm lathering my hands up. I'll go like this and I'm like, ah, and I have to jump out the shower, take it off, dry it real quick. And it's a whole shebang. So it does get a little bit annoying that I can't wear it in the shower. And I'm actually contemplating whether or not I want to just wear it in the shower and have Van Cleef replace the Alhambra pendant, the, the actual stone for me. But I'm not sure yet. It's, it's a little annoying. That's why I don't wear it as much as I would like to. But I mean, the price difference from $2,750 to $8,000, I'll, I'll take it, I'll take it. The last thing that was on my wish list, and this is something that had carried over from my 2022 wish list, was an Hermes Kelly belt. Now, I thought that I was gonna get this in the color white, and I actually kind of still think I want a white belt. I don't know if I want it to be the Kelly belt or not, but I think I still need a white belt. But I did get this in the color gold. You guys know I've been wearing that like cra that plus my caramel mini wherever it is here and my gold oran sandals which i also bought this year that's just the outfit it doesn't even matter what you wear it with that is the outfit so i've been wearing that a lot i love the kelly belt i think it's very expensive for a belt so i don't know that's why i'm like that's why i'm really just questioning do i need another kelly belt or can it just be like a different type of belt so i'm just kind of figuring out which kind of white belt i want and before i make my wish list which i don't even know if i will make a wish list this year because it is a no buy year for bags by the way it's a no buy for bags not for anything else anything else i will happily treat myself to so i don't really know but i did tick off the hermes kelly belt just not in the color that i thought i was going to so that is my 2023 wish list recap i pretty much got a lot of the stuff on my wish list and most of the things that i didn't get ended up falling off the wish list which i feel like is kind of the reason that i like to make a wish list because yeah at some point i want the thing but after really thinking about it and you know seeing if it's going to work with my lifestyle a lot of the times the things end up falling off my wish list so that's why i like to make the list to begin with now for next year i don't think i'm going to end up making a wish list just because like i said i'm not going to be buying bags i'm going on a no buy for bags but with that being said there are some bags with an s that i have not unboxed on my channel yet so stay tuned for those unboxings but those don't count as part of the low buy because obviously or the no buy because obviously i already got them so but that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on instagram i post every single day over there and let me know in the comments which one of these items are you shocked about which one of these items is your favorite what is on your wish list just let me know let me know but that is it so i'll see you guys in my next video bye and we're back part two of the videos katie is filming today